Crawcroft and welcome to another action-packed Letters and Numbers Series 4 quarter-final as we continue our quest to find our newest grand champion. So just settle into your favourite sofa spot as we greet our words and sums referees, the masterful mathematician first, Lily Turner. Hi, well, it was quite a way to start the uh, final series last night, wasn't oh, it? Oh, you know it. The conundrum showdown doesn't get any better than that. That's right. It was tight right to the end. Welcome back, Lily. Thank you. And the laudable linguist, David <laughs> Ethel. Thank you. I think it over last night how with Sebastian and Sam, every time we got to a letters round, they matched each other precisely. In fact, five out of five, they were bang on, uh, exactly the same score. It was only that one uh, numbers game and, in fact, uh, that split-second conundrum that uh, saw Sam into the semis. It was adrenaline all the way. More of that tonight, I'm sure. Welcome, David. Thank you. Now let's meet our quarter-finalists for tonight, starting with our first challenger, barrister, Alan Nash. Welcome back, Alan. Thanks, Richard. Now, when you were with us before, we heard all sorts of things about various places you'd been and adventures you'd had coming down off mountains, travelling through the village of the dead and all sorts of things like that. But your dream destination, if you could go somewhere, would have to be the final frontier space. Oh, you'd actually head out there? If I could. And, and to a particular planet or a place? Uh, I think it's a bit ambitious to head to a particular planet at this stage. Just going to a space station would do me. Look, if you save up your pennies, it probably doesn't cost much these days. No, only around, I think, half a million dollars or something. Unless you stow away on a Russian rocket ship or something. <laughs> Don't advise that. But stow away on the program tonight. Great to see Thanks. you back. And challenging Alan is Administrator Roman Turkovic. Hello, Roman. Hey, Richard. Now, it only seems like five minutes since you were with us last. Indeed. <laughs> Not very long ago at all. Welcome back. And one of the spectacular things that you did on your previous visits was that you managed a conundrum hat-trick, three in a row. Oh, OK. I'm happy to have the letters fall my way in that case. Yeah. Well, they certainly did. But when you look at those conundrum letters, what happens? Do they float out at you or do you try and break them down and calculate? I, I try not to look at them as individual words as they're appearing there, but yes, have the letters come through to me and then hopefully it makes some sense to me. So, yeah. Well, hopefully it will tonight. Welcome back. Thank you. So, good luck to them tonight. Our quarter-finalists, Alan Nash and Roman Turgovic. Opportunity to uh, champion a clause now with our first letters game. Alan, off you go. Can I start with a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with S. And another consonant? S. And a vowel? I. And a consonant, please? N. And another consonant? C. And a vowel? A. And another vowel? E. And a consonant, please? R. And I'll finish with a consonant, please. And last letter, D. Our first 30 seconds for the night. Try a risky eight. Ooh, okay, that sounds uh, an exciting beginning, but let's have the seven first. Arsenic. And your risky eight, Roman? Fanciers. Yes? Well, I'm a full Monty fancier, and if there are several full Monty fanciers, that is a perfect eight and the best to be found. Great start, Roman. What a start. Very nicely done indeed. Eight points for Roman. Well, Roman, you're off and firing. Some more letters, please. Can I start with a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with R. And then with a vowel, please. A. And another consonant? T. <laughs> and a vowel, please? O. And a consonant, please? B. And uh, another consonant? G. And a vowel, please? E. And a, another vowel? U. And we'll finish with a consonant, please. And last letter, C. Here's that clock.
Well, Roman, how did you go this time? I got a seven that time, Richard. Sounds good. Alan? I'll do what Roman did and have a seven as well. <laughs> a seven? <laughs> do as the Romans do. It works from time to time. What was yours, Alan? Courage. And yours, Roman? It was courage. Well, could you uh, compare degrees of courage? It's a brave game here, David. If you're playing the finals and you don't have courage, it would be an outrage, which is the other seven that I found. Well played. Good seven. Good sevens for both Alan and Roman. Time to wrestle with the numbers for the first time tonight. Six numbers and the basic principles of maths, addition, subtraction, division and multiplication are all that you have to work with to reach the randomly generated target number. Alan, I think you remember how to do this. What yes, do you fancy? Well, it only let me down three out of six times, Lily, so I'll go for four large and two small. Four large and two small. I like these odds, Alan. And our numbers. Ten. Four. And the four large, 50, 25, 75, and 100. The target to reach is 834. And 30 seconds on the clock. Multiplied by the 10. By the 10 is 790. 90. Add 50 to get 840. Add the 50 is 840. Uh, 100 divided by 25 is 4. 100 divided by 25 is 4. Take that away to make 836. 836. Well done. Well, that is uh, a great piece of work. Only two away. How did you go with this one? Yeah, it wasn't easy. Um, here's, here's what I did. Uh, now, 50... Uh, divided by 25 is 2, 75 minus 2 is 73, and 73 by the 10 is 730, add the 100 is 830, add the 4 is 834. Oh, very nice solution indeed, Lily. But uh, good stuff from Alan, and it scored him 7 points. So, do we have a close game already? 14 for Alan, just one point ahead, Roman on 15 as we head for our first break. Your first word mix for tonight is rice quad and your clue, obtained a rouge hue. See you after this. <laughs> 